okay. All right. Ready? Remember, serious but light. Ha. Huh. You got something on your got toothpaste? Forget it. Just it. Can't see I it. look fine. It's fine, it's toothpaste. We are an award-winning fringe opera company. Don't say fringe, it makes us sound poor. Yeah, but we are poor. All right, all right. Okay, you can say fringe, but say that we are fiscally... Fiscally... Fucked. Where I grew up, opera was just for upper-class twits. You'd get punched in the face if you listen to that stuff. But I don't even really know why I'm auditioning here, because... I told my agent I could be in other places. I mean, I should be on the Eurostar in half an hour. Why are you here then? What was that? But then I actually went to an opera and it blew my mind. The story, the music, those voices. Ah! I am a vessel. I am a vessel for the beauty of Mozart. That's my mantra. What's your mantra? Don't be shit and don't annoy people. The elite athletes of the music world. That's what we are. It's about training every day, flexing those muscles. It's not rocket science. It's just singing songs. At the end of the day, it's just a job. But don't you have to train for like seven years and practice every day and work for minimum wage? This job pays more than minimum wage, right? Well... I wanted to talk to you about funding. <laughs> Yes, the dreaded F word. I've got lots of fingers and lots of pies. Good. Mm -hmm. um, and Financial those pies, pies are I... finally coming to roost. We'll be exploring the link between maths and music with a reimagining of Verdi's opera, Math Beth. Macbeth. We pitched a three-person English version of Don Giovanni with a moral about recycling with a, a community chorus of ex-convicts dressed as bees who sing whilst planting a wildflower garden. Lady Macbeth going mad for fractions. Strong female lead to make money. Well, we've got Murdy She Wrote, so we've got that covered. Banquo, lesser than Macbeth and greater, or equal to. I think we just need to be a little bit more relatable. Yes, I, I totally agree. We yeah. need to work on that. Yes. For you. you and, well, I was for, mainly say for you. this. I am very relatable. When I call the king on my burner phone, I'll say, Duncan, bruv, you're all alone, and then I'll stab him in the heart in the hexagon. Shapes. Which could be coming to a welcome break near you. What? Car parks. That's the future of opera. How do I feel about um, taking my opera to a car park? You cyclist! Shut up. Yeah, I'm excited. I am looking forward very much to it. We're in Clackett Lane, Warwick North, Warwick South. As musical director, it is my job to make sure that I get the sound just right. Why are we in this box? There's, there's a ceiling. <laughs> Charlton Allop. We're meant to be on a national tour, but we, we don't have the funding um, and we don't want them to know that we are just in Cobham. But don't film that. I got some feedback. Yeah. This one says, go back to London, you posh twats. Oh, look, someone's done us a drawing here. That's nice. Someone, someone's smiling and singing. That's a penis. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Big old penis. Laughing away at us. Sometimes this job is a curse. It's a curse. You you chase it and you fight for it. And when you don't get to do it, the world loses colour and life is like walking through treacle. When you get to do a job that you love, the job that drives you, that defines you, that, that is the reason that you're here on this planet, that puts colour into your world, that is when this job is a blessing. Someone liked it. I am on a mission to make opera accessible to everyone because it's not just for upper class twits. It's not. And then she came up with this umbrella. I said, don't you put anywhere, don't you put that anywhere near my larynx. Okay. Why? 